Hey guys, welcome back. We're Philly and Keely, and in today's video, we're off to see the two most photogenic places in Italy. If you're new around here, we've been living in our self converted van full time for two and a half years, and we've taken her all the way across to Turkey, and now we find ourselves in Italy. Last week you've seen us explore the very beautiful Venice with our friends Beth and Jack and now we've continued to convoy with them all the way back across to the west coast, stopping off along the way. And now we've made it to our first destination, which I can't pronounce so I'm going to make it pop up on the screen. Cinque Terre, Cinque Terre, I don't know guys. Let's go. Hi. Are you falling asleep as you're standing there? Is it recording? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I'm so tired. <laughs> Good morning. I'm also tired. <laughs> Last time you seen us, uh, we were in Venice. And we've made ourselves the whole way across to the other side, to the west coast of Italy to uh, a place called La Spezia, which I'm probably butchering all these names. Why we're here is because there's a place called Cinque Terre, also butchered probably. Mm -hmm. And I don't really know much about it, so it's like they're old protected fishing villages, uh, but I've seen some pictures on Google Maps and uh, <laughs> it looks pretty awesome. So we're excited to go check that out. I just need, I just need to wake up. Just need to wake up! No. <laughs> wake up! I'll actually cry if you wake up! <laughs> I'm gonna make the coffee. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. There's a fly on my arm. See this fly? This fly woke us up at 5 a.m. This fly's been waking us up at 5 a.m. for the past two weeks. He won't get out. Like, like, we keep trying to pull him out and he keeps coming. He's still on my arm. Oh, what a gorgeous arm it is. Anyway, we gotta make a packed lunch and then we'll hit the road. Parking these vans tight so no one can get into our side doors. So remember Philly made me get up early, make a pack lunch and all. These slackers didn't even make one. Well we got food, we just haven't made it yet. Oh okay. Oh hang on, I need to check the van 10 more times. <laughs> Make sure you validate your ticket, not just buy it. Thanks, Dad. It's got our name on it. So Jake has naturally assumed the role of Dad yeah, in this four-way relationship, which is great. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. We appreciate you. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so we have made it to our first destination for these like five fishing villages or whatever. You get a train to each one. So we decided to blast it to the end, and then we're going to like work our way back towards. So the first stop is Monte Rosso. Apparently this is like the busiest and least quaint part of it. Quite a lot of beach umbrellas, yeah. but still flipping gorgeous, isn't it? I've, I've got my trainers on, guys. I'm ready for a hike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> well, Keely, you've ascended your first staircase. How do you feel? I'm not gonna lie, I'm really out of breath and really hot. I'm thanking God this is in the shadows, but... Are you trying to keep yourself composed for Beth and Jake? <laughs> yeah, if this was you, I'd be like, I'm sitting down. So I need to apologise in advance that this is just going to be uh, a montage of us being really sweaty. I'll try to get the drone up later to show you, because the cool thing is here, even though I'm hating the fact that we're walking up steps and stuff, is that there's loads of different terraces with like different little ecosystems, different plants on each one, which is pretty cool. But friggin' heck, it's hot. Everywhere there's some, there are some steps. Just, just a few. There's a lot of steps. Loads of people are looking at me to check if I was okay because I can't breathe. Because the air is too thin? No, it's just I have terrible cardiovascular health. Remember back in Croatia when I said I was going to run every day to improve my heart? I didn't do that. It so I need two to days. do it. I, it lasted four days. <laughs> I need to do it, man, because this is not okay to be this. We got this together, eh? Yeah. Okay, we'd stop for some food. 
got ourselves fed and watered. Now, we're gonna to get to this first town. I promise you, if it's the last thing we do. The cool thing is though, that this coast path runs the whole way through all the little villages. So you can either walk on the coast path or you can get the train. We're gonna do one, so we're not complete failures. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole video about me complaining about how hard it is. I'm proud of you. All right, Keely, any tips for the fam? If they're coming to do this walk, what do they need to know? Okay, um, um, it's really hot. Come earlier in the morning, I think, and even though these two keep bossing it in their sandals, I do think uh, you probably should wear trainers so you have a bit more grip. And this place is called... Vanessa. Vanessa. Um. <laughs> so Italian. So we've just come into Benaza, I think it's called. It's super cute. I wasn't expecting this little tiny cobbly streets, all narrow. Uh, it's just really cute. But I'm really sweaty and I need to swim. Woohoo! That felt so good. All right, come on, hurry up. Fully dressed. Oh, fully dressed. My le my dress was soaked with sweat anyway, so it's got to wash now. We're in the world's longest queue for some tap water. Yeah, we really need some drinking water, man. But it's good that they exist. As you've seen, I was eating some salty crisps because I've sweated out all salt in my body, all liquid in my body, so I desperately need some water right now. You'd wring that dress into your mouth? No, it's not, that's, that type of salt water is not good. So that was the fourth little town. Now we're on the train and we're going to get it to the third one. And I think we've done enough walking today, so we're going to just get the train between them. All right, kids. <laughs> Make sure you get on the right train. Oh yeah, we just got on the wrong one. It took us straight the way back to La Spezia. So we have had to run across the tracks, catch another one back the way. <laughs> Note to self, pick the right train. <laughs> He's raging. I put my navigation down for one moment. <laughs> so yeah, so apparently Cornelia, if that's how you pronounce it, is the only one that isn't at the waterfront. It's actually up in the hills. So. We now have to walk up, which Lower looks like hills. a lot of steps. 12 seconds later. Okay, it's getting pretty late in the afternoon. And looking at those steps, I feel like that's going to take a considerable amount of time. And apparently the other two towns are even better than this one. So we're going to invest our time in those and not make me walk up a mountain. So we have just got off the train in a place called Manorola. <laughs> you don't have to say it like that. Manarola. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so this place is meant to be super beautiful. We're currently walking through a tunnel to get to it, so I'm very appreciative of the shade right now. Yeah. I'm sure under other circumstances, this would be like a really lovely day out, and it has been, mm -hmm. but it's just been, like the heat has just been relentless. It's got like 79% humidity here right now. That's so like, how is that even real? Like as soon as we go outside, we start to melt. So it's been absolutely crazy. We've been trying to get into the water everywhere. We got in once, but another couple of swims are definitely overdue. Yeah, they are. I got gelato and a vegan crepe. No, oh, wow. <laughs> that's pretty good. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Just trying to find what little shade there is. I feel much more energized after we got that sugary crepe. And this place is beautiful. It's got all these colored buildings, kind of like perched on the cliff, just like crashed down to the edge. But there are sugar tons of people here swimming, but it doesn't change how beautiful this place is. I imagine it would be great in like winter time or something, you know? On a more serious note, uh -huh. I know it's super hot all over the world right now, but it would be so easy just to be just to get overheated really quickly. Yeah, like get heat stroke, that would be so easy right so now. So make sure you find shade often, make sure you drink a lot of water, 
on top of mm -hmm. your sun lotion. And just listen to your body. If yeah. you're starting to get a sore head, maybe you just need to sit down in the shade somewhere. Retreat. Go into a, a shop where there's aircon. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually crazy. Mm -hmm. Enjoy that little beach excursion. Oh yeah, super busy, loads of people, but it was so nice to get in the water. Now, we're gonna get a pizza. A pizza. Five minutes later. This girl be happy. She's got some pizza. We got pizza, a well-deserved pizza, guys. And where are we exactly? Oh, we're in, oh, we're not in Formaggio. That's Rio cheese. Maggio. Rio, Rio Maggio. Four marinara pizzas. <laughs> so damn good, well-deserved. Guys, we've had a chocky day, it's been mental. All right, team. We're gonna make it back to the van, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully the van is still there, fingers crossed. We checked the camera and it's not on, so that's slightly stressful, but I have faith that she is safe and the batteries just died because our batteries are screwed. Yeah. See you soon. Goodbye. So if you guys have been with us for a while, you'll know that we've been using this bad boy for the last three months. In fact, it's pretty much the only reason we can edit videos on this trip because our van batteries ain't so good. So that's why we want to give EcoFlow a massive thank you for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know, EcoFlow are a leading energy company who've developed portable renewable power stations and this bad boy we've got is the Delta Max with 2016 watt hour capacity which is humongous. So they have a massive range of portable renewable power stations so whether you need a little small one or a large scale one or like us, this one suits us perfectly for the van. It runs both our laptops easily. In fact, it's managed absolutely everything we've thrown at it. They also sent us the 220 watt solar panel which is great because it means we can charge it in like the most remote of places and we can also charge it when we're on drives via the 12 volt cigarette lighter and also AC and a couple of days ago we pulled up to an air in Italy and thanks to the extreme technology in this we managed to charge it from 30% to 100% in 50 minutes which is incredible. So EcoFlow literally powers our everything and it's got an inbuilt battery management system which keeps it cool. So when I hear that fan kick in, I know it's doing its job. And one of our favorite things about it is the fact that you can control it all from an app, which means you can even tell whenever the panels have accidentally went into the shade without having to get out and go look at them. You can see it all on your app. You can see the power you're using, the solar you're getting. So in our opinion, this really is the best one on the market right now. So if you've been looking for a power station, head to the link in our description. This would be a great addition to your toolkit, whether it's for indoor, outdoor use, traveling, whatever. So click on the link below for EcoFlow's green energy solutions. Thanks EcoFlow. Good morning. It's a fresh 6 a.m. here. I haven't managed to open my eyes yet. So let's get some coffee and then I'll speak to you. Good morning. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're dressed and everything. I know. Ready Jake's to face not. the day. Jake is really not. Jake was sleeping on the floor last night. It was too hot. <laughs> and then he just peeled himself off of the floor. So, team, today we're off to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Uh, I've been here before. I haven't seen the tower. I flew into Pisa. You've been here before? I haven't been actually. Without me? I flew in. I was meeting people and Who is they? they'd already, my Who dad, he'd already seen, right, okay. he'd already right, seen the tower and I was like, there's nothing really to see here and I was like, okay, so I didn't even see it. <laughs> so, uh, not today I'm getting to see it. And we have had a change of plans, but we'll talk to you guys about what? that. What? Uh, I know, again. <laughs> News to me? After I've had this coffee and we've seen Delina and Tower of Pisa. So, we have just left a pretty crappy lay-by park up, but you know, first time we're free to park, park but 
We had considered before that we would just park the van, start leave them and then walk into Pisa because we're only like half hour walk. But then we were looking in park for a night about parking in Pisa and it looks like it's even less secure there. It looks like there's a lot of crime. So that's a good thing about doing a little convoy I suppose that we can tag team each other if so, it's not yeah, feeling safe. Because our Keely's not a, a morning person, we're going to let these guys go in first. Keely can wake up. Okay, the patronising Pat can get returned back to centre, thank you! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Okay, I'm gonna finish this coffee then, guys. Oh, that sun's bright. So we're taking first shift, not just because we're nice, but also it gives Keely some time to actually wake up and also make me breakfast. So our shift has ended, and now it's our turn to go and see what all the fuss is about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See this big tower? The tower that leans. Look at you trying to not sound northern Irish. Oh. The tower that leans. That's just the way I talk. It's a tower. <laughs> well, well, what do you see? <gasps> there it is. It literally just popped around the corner. <laughs> Gonna lie, I was really expecting me massively underwhelmed, but that's quite pretty. It's very intricate, it's beautiful. It's, it's small, but it's girthy. <laughs> it makes noises. I didn't know it makes noises. We rounded this corner, and I was literally like, What? It's so leany. It's way wonkier than I noticed in photos. I always thought it was just perception, but it's literally like that. I'm really trying hard not to say that's what she said, but that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> it's so leany! There you go, you heard it here. It's so leany <laughs> and it's wonkier than in the photos. It literally is though and it's also way smaller, like it's actually quite short. But yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah, up a bit. Right a bit. No wait, it's not left or right. Perfect. Are oh, you taking a video of me looking <laughs> stupid? <laughs> 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 Guys, when you're in Pisa, you can't come here and not do it. We're about to take the perfect picture of me in three, two, one. Obviously in the photos, you know, you knew it looked a bit tilted. I wasn't expecting it to literally look like it really is defying the laws of physics. Like it actually looks like it's like wobbling almost. I know I sound so dim guys, but I really didn't expect it to be this leaning. <laughs> it's really surprised me despite the name. <laughs> I know, what did you expect? <laughs> I don't know, it's just really leaning. <laughs> it's really leaning tar pizza. Cool man. A high fountain of all knowledge. Oh no, are you going to ask me stuff and make me look dumb? So what is this thing? Okay, well I did just read something. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is actually the bell tower for this cathedral that was began resurrection in 1173 AD. Don't know anything about the cathedral, but the cathedral's like stonework, whatever you call it, is gorgeous. It's all like coloured and tiley and it looks good. Cool. Coloured and tiley, so... And look at their different pillars, they're all different. Like some are swirly and some are marble and some are ready. And they're all different and speckles and stuff. Wow, this observation is next level. Uh-huh. Guys, I'm sure you're really glad that you came to watch this video. I don't think people watch our videos <laughs> for knowledge, let's be realistic. <laughs> the Leaning Tower of Pisa is pretty cool and all. Yeah. But those socks, you know. Oh. Someone has to mention how cool they are. I thought you were going to say about the cathedral next, it's cool, and then there's a building even in behind the cathedral that looks really cool. But my socks are obviously the coolest. <laughs> and then all around the like square thing, it's just really nice old brickwork and like, little towers and clocks, and it's just cool. Yeah. It is quite cute. I feel like it's nice to kind of slow down and, and appreciate the architecture of it. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I wasn't expecting this. Actually, there's loads of gorgeous buildings around here and a little like alleyway that I'm trying to convince them to let me go get a coffee in. You're so dumb educated. Rolling my eyes, guys. <laughs> Let's go. I was trying to convince Philly to let me get a coffee. I was like, get an espresso, they're like a euro, but turns out beside the Leaning Tower of Pisa, two espressos would be six euros. I wanted to watch it fill up and get busy and full of people, but not for six years. <laughs> <laughs> So it is starting to get pretty busy here already. So we're gonna head back to the van, get a free coffee. Everything looks safe and sound. So we're driving to the spot that's just like on the outskirts of Pisa. Because it's a national park, there's loads of animals in this place. Mm -hmm. And we've seen animals yesterday. Animals that Kili has been looking out for for a long time. Mm -hmm. 
way to level up the suspense here. We're talking about deers. <laughs> well, but not just your your plain old doe. Deers with antlers, guys. They must weigh a fair bit, and they're just like winging their head around like nothing. <laughs> This is next level nature work. I hope you guys didn't think that we actually read books. We do. We just use them to elevate our laptops so they don't overheat. So we came back to this park up and remember we said we seen deer. We're on a walk and we see about seven deer. A family walking over there, a couple hiding in the shade here. Very <laughs> excited. Look at these horns. Got a little bit though. It's very. How incredible is this? Yeah, this is cute. On the one hand, it's awesome because they're coming close to you, but on the other hand, you know that means people probably feed them a lot. Yeah. And probably not stuff that's naturally in their diet. Yeah. But it means that they're friendly. Oh my, I was afraid of that breaking. We are at this park up now, there's lots of shade here, but the truth is we can't keep only doing stuff at like 6am in the morning because it's too hot the rest of the day. We can't hide in the shade all the time. We've basically recognised that. It's way too hot. Italy is too hot right now, mm -hmm. it just is. The unique situation is that we have the van, so we have the option to take another van off the road, take two bodies out of the cities, go somewhere else. Uh, quieter and then come mm -hmm. back when it's out of season. Yeah, I think that's the best option. Admit defeat on this one. Go somewhere less travelled. I don't know if anywhere in the world is cooler right now. I don't think searching for coolness is actually going to work, but yeah. at least it'll be quieter and cooler maybe. We want to go back to Serbia, potentially Romania, Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan anyway. Yeah. But, you know, in a couple of weeks' time, we might be sitting down in front of you guys again and saying how things have changed <laughs> and we're going back to Italy. <laughs> Yeah. But you just have to listen to your gut and we absolutely loved Eastern Europe last time and we were really excited to get back so I think mm -hmm. it's going to be cool. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. We appreciate your time. Um, please hit that subscribe button. Yeah. That really, really helps us. And if you want to see when we're going to change our ideas again, make sure to hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified of all our videos. Uh, we'll see you next time. I'm going to go do work now. I'm going to clean the van. Okay. Bye. Bye.